Hi, um, welcome to the next tutorial. Uh, uh, what we're going to look at today is, uh, is um, iPhoto and um, making a slideshow, then exporting it straight to um, a DVD if you want, or you can export it wherever you'd like to. But we'll go through that as we as we um, as it comes up. Uh, the first thing to do is um, load iPhoto up, and it may come up with a couple screens be beginning asking you to do various things, like this one here. It says, "Do you want to use your uh, photo?" You can decide later, or you're going to hit yes. Um, so basically what that means is that every time you plug in a digital camera or you insert um, a uh, memory card into a reader if you've got one it will automatically load iPhoto up. Um, we're just going to hit yes for that. Now there's a couple ways that you can actually get photos into iPhoto. One is like I just said through the camera and another way is just dragging folders onto it and I've just got some photos here and I'm just going to drag it into it and it automatically imports for me and that's all the photos imported. Now I've just got a few various shots here and um, all the easiest thing that you can actually do is um, hit one is here slideshow Oops, sorry. and what we see here is a slideshow is just going to play right up for us um, we have various themes that you can actually um, select um, one's Ken, Ken Burns and you can have a play around with this one origami etc you've got some standard music that you can actually have and uh, we can actually play it and listen to it. It automatically names it as the last import, but you can change that name. And as we see there, that's the um, slideshow. Built for us straight away. Um, so once we have our slideshow that we actually want, we can actually... Um, export it and yeah so we just have to export it and all we need to do there is after we've created it with using the slideshow button we just go to um, file export and this little export window pops up in the top option there you see there slideshow gives you various different um, size settings that you know what you want to play it on uh, obviously iPods iPhones and iPads even they're going to be a smaller size and different dimensions especially for the iPad um, going up to um, TV and computers, etc. Um, so just select one, and I'm, you can actually have multiple ones as well. But let's just—I'm just, just going to pick one small one, um, just like that. And we're going to hit export. It asked me where to um, where to export it. I'm just going to go into my documents. I've already created the folder there. It's going to hit OK, and away it will export. Now, it's remembered basically from when we created the slideshow using this button down below, the effects and the song that we actually wanted exported. From this now, after it's exported, what we can actually load up is another application that we have. It's called iDVD. And that's in your Applications folder. And um, there it is there. And we can actually put it straight into iDVD. And iDVD will create a DVD for us so we can actually burn it and play it on a normal TV or a DVD and um, it's that easy to create a slideshow. You can also voice over and you can actually add tracks um, using um, another application that we can show you and that is iMovie. Um, we'll have a look at iMovie at a, at a later time and um, we'll go through that and that's very, that's very, very easy to actually run. And I was a bit too quick and I clicked that. Um, whilst we'll, while it's whilst that loaded up and there we see there that our DVD is actually or oh, sorry our slideshow is actually exported I'm just going to double click it and let it play it's going to play in iTunes which is fine and if you haven't loaded up iTunes before it wants to do all these um, minimal settings so we're just going to hit yes yes you know, I'm going to add them to later next done And here it plays. Oh, now the resolution isn't that great on here because we did select the small export. So this is really designed to be playing on a small iPhone or a uh, um, iPhone or an iPad or something along those lines. The, obviously the larger the file is and the larger the um, exporting settings that we have, 
will be will play much better actually onto your computer. So have a play with it, and if you've got any questions, feel free to um, ask me. Thank you very much.